Here's what chiropractic is. And I explained to you that my job is to examine your spine to see if you have a good nerve supply to all of the organs. If you don't, if your nerve supply is damaged by this misalignment of the spine, my job is to restore nerve supply. Let's point out that seven out of 10 Americans over age 40 are suffering from a chronic disease of some kind, which fails to respond to the ministrations of medicine. It's all well and good for our doctor to sit here and say, he doesn't believe there's any scientific validity. Uh, what background he would have, he admits he knows nothing about chiropractic, but he's already made a decision that's not valid. If medicine worked, nobody would ever go to a chiropractor in the first place. All of these people you're talking about come to chiropractors because they're medical rejects. And they say, doctor of chiropractic, can you help this disease, that disease, hey, the other disease? Tell me about asthma. Can you cure asthma? Tell me about or, asthma. Or, right, let me finish. Whether it's asthma, whether it's arthritis, menstrual cramps, any of these conditions, patients do go to chiropractors to have those diseases treated. But the chiropractor teaches them that we don't treat disease. Well, what are you going to do for me if you don't cure I'm it? going to do nothing for your asthma, but I'm going to Or are you going to, to play with this, my, my spine? I hope not. If you want it played with, go to massage park. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if that's what turns you on, oh, that's your thing. I love it. Okay, you come to me, I will do a specific chiropractic analysis of your spine okay. to see if there is a subluxation damaging nerves. If there is, without regard to whether it causes asthma or not, or any other disease or not, I will gently ease that bone back into place, restore normal nerve function. Okay, well, no condition you can name, which the body itself cannot cure. Chiropractors don't cure anything. All of chiropractic is based upon a recognition that there is built into the human body the ability to recover from disease, whether it's the common cold or asthma or any other disease. But what it, let me finish, please. Okay. What is called spontaneous remission, self-cure, it happens with chiropractors or without, with medical doctors or without, with acupuncturists or without. The body has the ability to heal, but the healing ability of the body is lessened, is damaged when some of the vital nerve trunks are pinched off. This, of course, is the province of the chiropractor. Chiropractic is based upon the intent of keeping these bones in their proper relationships to each other, simply because virtually every vital nerve trunk in the body passes through these openings. As we turn the spine sideways, we see openings between the bones. And inside the bones of the spine runs the spinal cord. Now, as long as these bones are in their proper relationships to each other, then all of the nerve trunks giving rise to all of the distribution of nerves throughout the body is in a normal, healthy condition. The nerve trunks are in a normal, healthy condition. If, however, one of these bones becomes misaligned from its fellows above and below, that's what the chiropractor calls a vertebral subluxation, a tiny twisting of the bone, which narrows the opening, damaging the nerves, and resulting in some malfunction or malfunctions at the organs at the end of the nerves. Now, the chiropractor's job is, as Dr. Romberg pointed out earlier, is never to diagnose or treat disease. We're not in the disease treating field. We merely point out that if the human body is to have any chance at all of functioning normally, then every nerve to every organ must be in normal condition. So what we're doing then is examining the spine to find these subluxations. And we examine the spine with x-rays, with instruments, with our hands. And if we find a subluxation, then we set about a program really of spinal rehabilitation, gradually, gently easing these bones back into their proper relationships, getting the openings back to normal size and allowing the nerves to function normally. If there is a vertebral subluxation, whether we can find what it's causing, whether we know what it's causing or not, in and of itself, this vertebral subluxation limits the body's ability to function properly. It shouldn't be there. So the next part of our examination is concerned with seeing whether it is safe for the chiropractor then to adjust the vertebra back into place. In this human body of ours, every single part is dependent upon every other part. You can't have a malfunctioning liver and the rest of the body healthy, or a malfunctioning kidney and the rest of the body healthy. If any part of the body has a damaged nerve supply, then the entire body suffers and resistance is lowered. A cold doesn't come from a single cause. You brought up cold. The same virus which will cause a cold in a person one week will not cause a cold in that same person a week earlier or a week later. We're dealing with two factors. One, the environmental factor. The other, the resistance of the body. Now, chiropractors deal with the resistance of the body in that we try and maintain good nerve supply to all of the organs so they can function properly. 
it is an inevitable fact that if one organ is damaged, because its nerve supply is damaged by these spinal subluxations, then the entire body malfunctions. Organized medicine for years has conducted a campaign of self-serving propaganda to say don't go to a chiropractor. God forbid chiropractors should help people. That'll make the, the physicians look bad. You have been reading an awful lot of AMA propaganda and not doing any private research. 